Good morning. I'm Bobby Vandenbalk. I am the Executive Director at the Bethel Area Chamber of Commerce. And with me today, we have two of the future business leaders of America here at Telstar High School. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Ladies? I'm Lily Souther. And I'm Gabby Thompson. And welcome. Um, this is in regards to the job fair that's happening on October 25th um, from 11 to 2 p.m., which we're very excited about. We have about 25 businesses already signed up. Love to have more. So if you're watching and you haven't signed up, let us know. But what I'd like to do is ask you ladies, um, Tell, tell us a little bit about the job fair, uh, what you're looking for, what inspired you as um, future business leaders of America to make this happen. Uh, so we do a few job fair type activities at Telstar, but a lot of them are really wrapped around just Sunday River or one particular area of businesses. We usually only have like five different uh, people from businesses talking to us at one time. So we wanted to have kind of a broader event where kids could see things in a lot of different fields that they're more likely to find something they might be interested in. And we really wanted to focus on local job opportunities because we know a lot of kids at our school uh, think that there aren't job opportunities for them currently or after they graduate in this area, but they're totally are. So our goal is kind of just to get kids connected to employers in the area. Yeah. Gabby, would you like to add anything to that? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the main goals of the job fair are connecting business, local businesses to local students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are there, um, what kind of experience during the job fair are you anticipating? Um, well, we just want people to be able to connect with local business owners, kind of learn about the industries of the area, um, just really grow connections between students and current business owners. That's great. Are there um, specific industries that you would like to be there over others or? I think any and all industries are helpful to see in the professional sense because you don't know what people are going to want to be. So really any industry can spark a connection for any student. I agree with that. I, I certainly agree with that. Um, and how did you go about, how did this all start? I mean, how did the chamber get involved and how did you get businesses involved? And tell us a little bit about that. Uh, it started me and Gabby just kind of trying to reach out to whoever we could to try to get this off its feet this summer. Gabby was reaching out to a lot of uh, business owners individually and reached out to the Rotary Club. And then I got in contact with you at the chamber. Then you were super helpful in getting all of these people signed up. So that's kind of how we just started getting people into it and got the word out. That's great. Well, it's been a great partnership for the Chamber and the future uh, business leaders of America. Uh, these two ladies are just stellar and um, very organized and um, I have been very impressed with them. So they would be uh, two that I would want to talk to at the job fair for sure. Um, and what kind of, um, you know, what do you anticipate as far as from like today to the event? What, what are the steps that you need to see happen? Um, well, obviously there are more businesses getting added every day. So we're just hoping to keep our list of participants growing. And then we just kind of need to like figure out some background details. So we need to um, get all the tables that we have at Telstar out and into the gym. We need to make sure everything's all set up safety-wise with the principal, all that sort of thing. Nice, nice. And I know there's parking and um, yeah. where people are supposed to park and, um, you know, setting up and taking things out and getting them all set up. Um, so we'll, I'm sure we'll have all of those final details to the businesses that have signed up very soon. Um, I'm just looking at um, what kind of resources or workshops you've utilized in the past to make this 
come together? Not really any. This was kind of yeah. just us. Um, our old advisor has planned events like this before, and so she seemed like she kind of had some knowledge in how to do it, but then she stopped being our advisor as soon as we started planning <laughs> it. Um, so pretty much just we haven't even had a job fair like this at our school before, so kind of just us thinking about how job fairs have gone for us in the past and what we think could be better or more ideal about them and trying to make that a reality. Yeah. What do you want to take away from this job fair, personally, for you, for you two, the organizers? Um, for me, personally, I just want to see an FBLA event be successful. We're a very small club at Telstar. We have maybe five or six people, so I just want to see this event just follow through with the event. I agree. I would love to see just any some students feel like they had got really got something out of this and that this was a positive use of their time uh, as well as the employers and people that are coming. And who is this job fair for? Students? Yeah, yeah. the students. And how do you have, are you having students sign up? Are you? Uh, uh, it is going to be kind of a required activity. We're going to have grades have different time windows where they come down to the oh, gym uh, to visit it um, and check things out so that it's not a big rush all at the same time, but it's something that we're hoping everyone's going to go down and get to see. Yep. And how will you know what how will you measure whether you feel this was successful or not? We have a form for feedback afterwards, basically just asking, like, did you end up talking to anybody and making, like, a meaningful connection with them? Did you get any ideas for a career path or a job opportunity in the future so that we kind of have a reflection of how the students thought that it went? Now, is that a form for the, the businesses that attend, or this is for the students for students. Okay, that's great. Um, maybe that's something that we can think about is um, doing something for the vendor, the businesses, the local businesses. Yeah. So we can get feedback on that as well. That would be great. What has been the most rewarding part of this so far for you both? I think seeing that we have 25 businesses that um, in June, when it was just me reaching out to everyone, I think we had five or six, and then me and Lily started to get very scared. <laughs> um, and then once the chamber got involved, we've gotten a lot more. And when we were doing the math, trying to figure out how many people could realistically fit in the gym, we came up with this really big number, and we are like, that's a scary number. <laughs> and then when we saw that we had five businesses, we were like, this is going to be an empty gym. But now 25 is a really good number. I love that. So would you say that that would also be your challenge, the most challenging part as well? Yeah. Just making sure that you have enough businesses yeah. and students uh -huh. to um, satisfy everybody's um, wants and needs and I know that there are a lot of business owners that are looking for students um, to fill their needs for employment needs and uh, so we're really looking forward to um, having having this event come together again it's going to be October 25th um, here at Telstar High School in the gymnasium at, from 11 to 2 p.m. and um, Ladies, are there any last thoughts that you would like to? Um, no, just if you are a business owner um, and you would like to get involved in this, you haven't already, we would love to have you. We still have space for like 15 more <laughs> businesses, probably 15 to 25, honestly. Yeah. So um, we have a lot of room. We have a decent amount of kids that are looking for job opportunities. So the more the merrier. And yeah, other than that. Well, thank you. Um, again, I think that you have a lot to offer um, the local community, and you've certainly been a pleasure to work with for the Bethel Area Chamber. So thank you, and I hope you all have a great day.